Hi, I'm Think A Little. I'd like to show you some of eExtension's virtual learning environments in Second Life. Oh no, it looks like I'm about to get wet. This is the entrance to the Virtual State Fair, home location of Cooperative Extension in Second Life. The fair theme was chosen because, for many people, this is the public face of agriculture and extension work. Inside the fair office is a display wall that will allow visitors to see what we have to offer in the virtual world. The Livability House showcases assistive technology and universal design features in a residential home. The tour is guided by numbered buttons that give information. The project was developed by Deb Sellers and Sarah Kirby of the Family Caregiving Community of Practice. Most of the buttons offer both visual and audio descriptions. The one-handed can opener is placed on the edge of the can just like a typical can opener. However, instead of using a second hand to twist the mechanism, the same hand that is holding the can opener squeezes the handle and this moves the opening mechanism. The tour works well for both individuals and for groups. The house is also a nice place to relax on the couch. Bed bugs can lurk in any hotel room. This fun educational game can help people learn how to protect themselves from bed bugs while traveling. The lavish lobby is a fun place to hang out and visit with your friends. A giant sized bed bug tells you not to worry and sends you to the bathroom to put your luggage in the tub. Follow the numbered dots, searching as you go, looking for bed bugs throughout your room. After watching the videos about bed bugs, it's time to check over your game cards and see whether you can solve the puzzle and claim your prize. If you'd like to visit the Bed Bug Hotel, uh, I mean the Little Town Inn, you'll find it in Second Life on E-Extension's Marl 3 Island. Come with me into the tunnel to see the life cycle of the Japanese beetle, a common lawn pest in the Northeast USA. The exhibit was created by Jeff Fowler, regional turfgrass expert at Penn State Cooperative Extension. Each of the numbered buttons is narrated by Jeff. The grubs molt and become second instars after two to three weeks, and third instars after three to four weeks more. The grubs pupate, and at the end of the timeline, they emerge as flying beetles. And here you can see them feeding on the rose bushes. Welcome to the Avatar Fitness Club. Research indicates that exercising your avatar regularly may help to improve your own physical fitness. These virtual learning environments are free for anyone to use, or you can design one of your own. For more information, go to eExtension's website at extension.org forward slash 3D. Extension.